What's up? It's been a minute, hasn't it? It's uh, it's, it's the next year already. It's 2024. Uh, here's a bit of a catch up, just a real quick one. Here's where we are subscriber wise on YouTube. Amazing. Love to see it. Here's where we are on Insta. Still mind blowing. Can't believe it. Uh, don't think that's real. I think that's a glitch. But today I'm going to show you how I made this animation. I've been getting a lot of questions about it and um, it's actually kind of a fun one and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. So here's the scene in Blender and this was rendered in cycles. I usually render in Eevee if you watched like some of my past videos, sorry about that. But some of my, a lot of my past renders have been rendered in Eevee. But with this one, I really wanted to try cycles. I really wanted to just, you know, do the volume thing. It feels very Blade Runner, similar to one of the other videos I did, and that one was also rendered in cycles. So I figured, you know, why not? The big thing about this one is that the camera, so this camera is actually orthographic. You can see right here, it's orthographic. In the past, when I've done my Akira renders, those have been almost orthographic. A lot of people thought they were because the camera, the focal length was something like 200, 300, something insane. And at that distance, like if I pop in here, it looks orthographic. You see, it feels like it might as well be or 200. Like this feels orthographic. It's still got a little bit of perspective. And so when I, when, when somebody made that comment, I thought like, okay, let me actually try orthographic. Like what would that look like? And it's extreme. It's extreme, but it's also like super trippy because if you look through the camera, here nothing has perspective and it's a very trippy like it's not whoa it feels really cool and really interesting and a lot of potential so as soon as i jumped in the orthographic view i knew oh and you can't zoom in and out like so if you you know the camera view is selected here but if, as i'm zooming in and out it doesn't work you have to do it here you have to do it with this number here either it gets bigger or smaller and it's just kind of different so it's the adjustments you can't do as much on the fly but if we jump into render view you can see if i move around that just looks so interesting and so cool and yeah i have a volume cube again similar to the previous tutorial uh, I'll just link that down below and you can watch that. I'll just have that right right at the top there so you can find it. And it's essentially the same setup. So buildings with a volume cube. And then uh, the only difference is that I have an orthographic camera. And then I also do have these neon signs. And these neon signs, let me tell you about them. If we hop into shaded view, you can see what the neon signs are. So what I did essentially is I went on this website, this website here, pexels.com. And they have a lot of free stuff, a lot of like royalty free photos. I don't usually go here because a lot of the photos are like edited and you know, they have all these like effects on them, like filters and stuff. So it's not really useful for me. If you go into videos here and a lot of the times they are free to use for whatever, for your artwork and stuff. So I just looked up because I wanted this kind of neon city, dark Blade Runner aesthetic, you know, like a nightclub-y kind of environment with a, a place where, whatever, it's nighttime, it's cyberpunk, it's seedy, like don't let your kids go in there. Anyway, so if you type in like woman dancing, I don't know what's gonna come up. Okay, like for me, what I was looking for was something that looked like it could be an advertisement. So, oh, this one is kind of cool. Or uh this one's cool this one's nice yeah yeah this is really cool like it's really tight close up there's interesting kind of pattern on the face this would be an interesting i think a cool video so what i did was so I'll do shift a go to images as planes this is an add-on in blender that you can enable so if you just go to the little add-on part preferences add-ons search for images as planes right there just check it and it'll basically let you bring in any image or any film like mp4 file into blender as a flat plane so if i type in image as plane here oh here we go okay so it's in this folder here so uh let's say i bring in this one i mark it as an emission and then import so there it is it's added i'm just going to move it out of the way here it's going to be kind of tiny but here it is and if i press play it plays it's a little laggy because it's playing all this extra stuff so the way i did is that you can see that the animation is longer than the actual video itself so what i did is i kind of just adjusted when the frames start and end and because this is an emission so we're going to render view so if we open up the shader editor here's how it looks and if i make this 10 it's like glowing it's like really really bright and like for example if we go into eevee 
they'll have this bloom. And then the other thing was, and I'm gonna plug the Discord server here because we, um, there's this really cool dot matrix pattern that one of the artists shared. This dot matrix. Very painful to look at with the uh, with the naked eye, so I wouldn't recommend it. Plug this into, let's say, the alpha. Ooh, and now it's like these little dots and stuff. It's a little stretched out. So what we can do is control T to get the mapping node pop up and then go to, I guess, object. Will that straighten it out? Yep, yeah, that straightens out the little dots. Uh, I think it's a little bit big, so I'm gonna just grab these two numbers and make that maybe five. Just a little bit finer tuned and now it looks like that so that's how that looks and I, like i said again over here with the frames you can like move the frames forward or back and make it start later you can make it start sooner but you just have to increase the frames more so that there's more space and for me what i did was i just kind of if i hop back into the camera view i just have the i think that these videos are either long enough or i have them playing only until the the camera sees them. So what, like at this point, if the video stops, it's okay because the camera, you know, it's not in camera, it's not in view anymore. So let's take a look at the actual billboards I have up here up close. So what do I have? I have that little dot matrix pattern on there like I mentioned, but what I did was I just doubled it up. So you can see there's two planes here. If I go into this view, you can see there's two planes. And that's really all I did was I just took the one and then uh, duplicated it forward to just make it feel a little bit denser because I feel like the dot matrix was just taking out too much of the um, visual information. So you, it was a little bit harder to see like what was actually going on. Uh, so I just doubled it up and then it looks a little bit more glitchy. So what I did, for example, with this one is that it's cropped in heavily. That's more for just making the billboard look more fuller and kind of some things are getting cut off and maybe this is an advert specifically for like this makeup or something. So for example, this was the original video. And if I tab in Edmo, you can see that I just took the UV map and scaled it down. So originally it came out like, you know, it came in like this large and I just kind of scaled down the UV so that it was only on this part of the face because I thought that's the part that kind of looked more interesting and it was a little bit more um, abstract and maybe suggestive or something like that. So, you know, fitting fitting kind of the theme. And uh, so I put all three of these on the buildings and the, these buildings are from my uh, building pack that you can get on Gumroad. I think it's like $1. So get them, I guess, I was gonna say while they're here, but they're not going anywhere. <laughs> But I am going to be, I think, making new buildings. So keep a lookout on that. And if you want to get on the Patreon, you'll get them right away. If you want to just wait, they'll probably end up on Gumroad one day or another. Um, enough of that. So let me tell you about how the camera is animated. So the camera, it is connected to an empty. And that empty is at the world origin here. So if I kind of zoom in on it, it's right there. So basically what I did was I just... Instead of animating the camera, I created an empty. So I go here, add empty. There it is. It's not connected to anything. But I left it at the world origin, and then I took the camera and then kind of positioned it up here. So let me open up a timeline so you can see. All right, so if we go back to frame zero, so... I lined up the camera, the orthographic one, kind of the position that I want, and then I parented it to the empty. So then all I gotta do over here is animate the empty itself. And all I have the empty doing is rotating on the X like this. But it was nice having it parented to the empty because I can look right here. I like kind of orbiting them around the buildings like this. So if I take the empty and then just spin it on the Z axis only, and I spin it, this looks very interesting to me. And I, I tried a couple versions for the animations and there's just, I think so many possibilities that you can do and so many different angles that you can, like you can get some really, really trippy results. So if I just kind of go like that, this is just starting to look like Inception or like some Doctor Strange stuff. So really cool stuff, really cool effect. And um, so, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna let uh, outro Mike kind of take it from here. Thank you for watching. And if he's mean to you, just tell me and I will like, get him fired. Okay, bye. Wow, what a cool tutorial. Um, it, that was so cool and so educational and filled with so much information and so funny, right? This is such a good... Um, anyway, before I let you go, I do want to say that I have a Discord server now where we're kind of, you know, building a bit of a community. If you want to join, the link is right down in, there in the description. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to do more stuff. I want to, like, get artists together talking, learning from each other, teaching each other. Besides everything else... 
if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and like and comment I, I definitely appreciate that and i and i see that happening and people are finding me and telling me about how they found me it's just really wholesome and it makes me not feel like i'm kind of like alone in this even just one person being like hey i'm a fan of your art i like your stuff makes my entire day so youtube discord out of the way what else patreon is just a way to support me like if you like my stuff that's the best place to do that i mean the patreon is a way for me to gauge like to what level people are actually invested and also it's a good place for me to like try out content for me to try a type of video that i don't make public so that's the place for that i'm also going to be uploading project files so if you want to kind of support me in producing content like that patreon is definitely the spot for that discord youtube you can follow me on Insta if you want. I mean, I, I do post more there. I post reels. I post stories. I answer a lot of DMs often. I answer, I ask questions. And, you know, if you want to kind of, you know, follow my art a little bit more close, closer, Instagram is probably the place for that. Anyway, I've kept you here for so, so long. I'm sorry. I hope that was informational, educational. Is informational a word? Providing useful information or knowledge. Informational. It's a word. Awesome. So, hope that was informational for you. Okay, bye.